some games Midget Pong, no, we are not lame Here it is, my own store The wonderful Midget Pong The Midget Pong If you want some NES And also more NES NES, SNES Even Nintendo 64 Here at Midget Pong As well as Sega, Atari and all the other ones it's Midget Pong, the wonderful, the great Midget Pong. Uh -huh. Carl! Carl, it's your turn to sing. Come on, what are you doing? Still with that doll again, huh, Carl? So as you can see, Carl's got a new toy. A Mario doll that's a little bit creepy. He was working hard lately and I decided to get him a treat. I got it from a homeless man near the shopping center when I went last week with Fred. And well, it wasn't new, but probably isn't the only thing in the store that's refurbished, if you know what I'm saying. The only problem is, that doll's kind of creepy. I mean, I think it's watching me or something. Okay, well, I need to go out for something. I'll be right back. See, I knew it! It's a weird doll, Carl! It moved its head, and it's looking at me, and it wants to kill me! My name is Sean Paul, entrepreneur extraordinaire. I manage a store called Midget Pog, which is the best place for video game and video game accessories. This here's Carl Flarkson, my best friend and sole employee. With his technical know-how and my business savvy, we run a tight ship, son. We businessmen, so don't you dare call us resellers. Stop staring at me! This is weird. So an hour in, I'm still putting things away, and well, the doll keeps staring at me, and it's kind of creepy. I mean, honestly, it looks kind of evil. I regret buying it for Carl, but he's happy, whatever. He's at his tap dancing lesson, so I don't have to worry about him, but uh, the doll is still staring at me. Into my soul. Like it, it wants something, something evil. Ugh, it's probably just my nerves. It might be early in the day, but I'm gonna go get a beer. That'll calm me down. That's it. 
I'm throwing you out, buddy. In the garbage. Oh yeah. No, you are not gonna try to kill me again. And stay there. I'm not gonna be told what to do by a doll. Come on. Now Carl, I know you're gonna be mad, but I had to throw away. My God. Yes. Okay. I'm, I'm not kidding around. Look, I really need your help. Carl has a toy, and it's possessed, and it wants to kill me. You expect me to help you after you pointed gun in my face? Oh, come on. Those were fake guns. The, uh, the, the, the bank robbers told us so. You told me they were real. I don't deal with liars. What are you talking about, D? You lie, like, all the time. You're... Goodbye. Amateur. F*** you, too! <laughs> yeah. It was gonna kill me. <laughs> the homeless guy who sold me the toy, he'll know what to do. Homeless people know how to solve everything. Except their homelessness. Anyways, onwards to the homeless guy. Hey, you homeless bitch! The doll you sold me is evil, and it tried to kill me. And now my best friend thinks it's his best friend, and he won't let me take it away. So what gives? <laughs> my revenge is complete! Wait, who are you? Dude, I'm the kid you called fat two years ago. The fat kid! Yeah, the fat kid! Not so fat now, am I? I understand the losing the weight part. I mean, you got it going on and I'm still a big fatty. Tell me your secrets later. But, uh, why the killer doll? I, I don't fucking know, man. I'm homeless. I got nothing to do. Just fuck you, okay? Bye! Get out of my life! Bitch! Look at him go. As free as any man who never had to work a nine to five in his life. I wish I had that freedom, but I don't. Cause I run a store and I gotta make sure it's killer doll free. Turns out that ex fat kid didn't help me at all, even though this is all his fault. But uh, five minutes of research on my phone and I found out that uh, the doll is possessed by something called Mario.exe, a computer virus that turns off all the limiters and basically makes it so that the violence settings are on. Uh, which shouldn't be on, making the doll an evil killer doll, um, which I guess works, it's plausible, um, but several questions arise. Originally, I thought it was going to be the spirit of a serial killer or something that went into the doll through some voodoo hocus pocus, and so would explain why a small plush doll can carry a knife, which uh, computer chips and stuff really can't. Uh, why would it be programmed to be able to hold the weight of a knife anyways? And uh, just the fact that it's like a computer thing makes it so many more questions, and, and, and whereas voodoo, while less realistic, actually makes more sense in the long run run with all the things a doll can do. And then if it's like a voodoo spirit or something, then the doll would have some agency of its own, some character, something like to fight against, whereas now it's just a, a product that like has some uh, animism from us like put onto it and then it was like, oh, poor little thing, I almost feel bad for it. It's a robot that like didn't choose to be violent. So that makes it a tiny bit less scary, but whatever. I still gotta deal with it. And uh, anyways, I gotta get back to the store and hope Carl's okay. Carl? What's going on here? Why are you all tied up? You! Too late! Carl's soul is mine!
Now I've seen my fair share of killer doll movies, and uh, one thing they never do in those films, which really always surprised me, is, I mean, just kick the doll. I mean, it is baby-sized, and like, a grown man should technically be able to kick a baby, right? I mean, right? I told you! I told you, boy, that Mario doll was evil and alive and it wanted to kill me. Who didn't believe me, huh? Anyways, I know exactly what to do with him. Well, the nightmare is over, finally. The store's about to close soon, so might as well spend the last remaining minutes with Carl just watching some stuff we like, right? <laughs> Monkeys!